Well, the election of Ronald Reagan in 1980 was one of the biggest tragedies that faced black people because his policies and the policies of the neoconservative movement hurt black people profoundly, both in terms of the government's uh, funding to programs that supported the black community and also the philosophy of uh, criminalization of the culture, where uh, the, some of the ways in which drug policy were used in terms of sentencing began under Reagan. So there was a lot, his impact, and just also the attitude toward poor people. Poor people almost became the enemy in this country. It became about, if you have money, we're going to support you. If you don't have money, we're not going to do anything that's going to make your life better. And so Reagan is a big character in the book. And he's as important figure as Oprah Winfrey and Michael Jackson in explaining the black reality of the 80s. We have black directors in Hollywood because of Spike Lee. We have um, black TV talk show hosts that we take for granted because of Oprah Winfrey and Brian Gumbel and, and Arsenio Hall. Um, in terms of black hip hop cultures, just, I mean, hip hop, as you see in the book, was this little thing that was kind of growing, 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 coming from underground to overground. Now it is mainstream culture. And all these things are with it. Fat farm clothing, all these things that come out of hip hop start in that period, start to grow in that period. So, I mean, Michael Jackson is this, this fig figure of uh, fascination and disdain. You know, Colin Powell's career, we first became aware of Colin Powell in the 80s when he worked under Reagan and Bush. So you can look in every direction of American culture and see black people in the 80s and their rise as a central part of that. Well, it's funny, it's, it's, this isn't even, it's not even like ancient history. The fact is that Russell Simmons is still a big force in their lives. The fact is that Puffy's career starts in the 80s. The fact is that um, old school hip hop, when they say old school, they're talking about records of 85, 86, 87, 88. So it's not even ancient history, it's living history that affects them right now. When they listen to any oldie show at 12 o'clock on any radio station that plays hip-hop in America, listen to records from the 80s. The 80s was a time of media integration, where you had people getting access to American media that we never had before, where black faces were the norm all across the board. Um, and that we take that for granted. Things we take for granted now in 2004, the seeds are planted in 84, in, okay, in 89, in 87. So, uh, it's a very unique period, and the reality that we have today starts then.